Okay, in this lesson, we're going to touch on visualization and we're going to take a look at how you can save time and add value to your projects by learning to spot some of the problems early on and get things arranged properly before you start designing your project. This is something I do for every single project, so hopefully you guys will find it as valuable as I do. Okay, in this case here, we're going to start with a sketch. You can do this uh, with a pen on paper and then scan it in or take a picture of it or you can do it in your favorite graphics program. In my, in my case I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop. So I've got Adobe Photoshop open. I've created a white background. I've created a layer on top of that and I've got a brush selected with a black color and it's about three pixels wide and I'm just gonna start sketching on here with my mouse. In this case here I'm going to just sketch in some buttons roughly and it's really no big deal about accuracy at this stage. You're just basically trying to get the layout of your idea together so that you can get something to build on in Autoplay Media Studio. So I'm just going to finish this up here and I'm creating an area for a logo right now and then I'm going to create a content screen area over here and that should be about it. So as you can see it just takes a few seconds and usually if you have any problems in your design you can spot them right here and solve them before they even become problems really. I'm gonna take the text tool here and I'm gonna label these. So this would be my content area and I'm going to move that over here and just double click so that will be my logo area and I'm just doing this for my own reference Often, once you've planned out your projects like this, you'll find that uh, little insights come to the surface that hadn't dawned on you prior. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly distribute these and merge them. And here we have our project sketch, and it's done. So if I add a white layer here in between, we can actually fade this out. So I'm going to just reduce the opacity to somewhere around 50% even and you can sort of go to the next stage if you like and actually create the different shape layers so in this case I would actually create a shape layer for a button uh, like that and then I might apply a style to it in this case we're using this orange style here and I could actually uh, let's see here I realize I'm working kind of fast for some people here, but the basic premise here is that you're going to visualize your project and put it together beforehand. Not necessarily the uh, Adobe Photoshop techniques that I use in my personal workflow. Okay, so I'm going to distribute these and align them. And I'm going to quickly put together a content panel here. And let's see, I've got a different style for that. There we go. Okay, and uh, just for the sake of comparison here, I'm going to put in a background layer here so we can uh, compare our sketch. Oh, there we go, sorry. So we can compare our sketch with our sort of final layout tracer image here. Okay, so there we finished that off. We don't have a logo yet, so we'll just leave that area blank. And basically, what we're going to do is merge this all down like this and now when I turn that off you can see the sketch and how my layout compares to that now I can import this layout directly into Autoplay Media Studio or if I didn't merge the layers I could have actually exported those buttons and uh, that screen for our project so basically we've created a nice little tracer image and if I go on to the back layer here I can actually show you what the finished project that you and I are going to be building over the course of this CD-ROM together looks like. We're going to build this project over the next few lessons and it's going to teach us all the basics of Autoplay Media Studio. Anyhow, if we go back to our sketch here, you can see how we quickly built from a raw idea into a sketch and from that into a basic tracer layout. Now, the next part I'm going to show you here might look a little complicated, but just follow along for now and it'll become obvious later. What we're going to do is we're going to save for web so we did file save for web and we're going to choose JPEG and we're going to save this 
as what we'll call a tracer image. We'll put that on the desktop. Now if I exit Adobe Photoshop and I will not save that and we come into Autoplay Media Studio I can create a new project and I'm just going to do a blank project and we'll call it demo and I can change my window settings to the size of my image once again if this seems complicated for now just watch along and later on we'll explain what we're doing here and I'm going to show you just real quickly how we can drag this tracer image onto the screen and actually it becomes our project and we can now bring our buttons in and our screen and lay them out on top of that okay so we've covered the visualization techniques for now and we'll go on to the next lesson